how to play. This scripture said, if it had not been for the Lord, can I get a witness in here? Who was on our side? Where would you be at this morning? Is it of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed? Great is thou faithfulness. Emotion, Nagabakoya, Elamosha. We magnify it. We glorify the living God, Yeshua Hamasin, Jesus Christ, the living God, the only God, the true God. Hey, woke you up this morning. Can I get a witness in here? Start you on your way. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking before God found me. I didn't find God. He never was lost. I was down in some trenches. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Some trenches. It's called a hole. It's a hole. Trying to climb out. Everybody know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you find that in relationship. Trying to climb out. It's a trench that you have, and that trench is deep. And sometimes that trench got some water in it. Like that trench.
that whether it's raining or sunshine, God is still good. All the time, God is good. You know, what I love about Jesus, so many things I love about him. But one thing I love about this man is not only his love towards me, his faithfulness towards me, his commitment towards me, his loyalty. When I stumble, he picks me up. When I'm weak, he's my strength. When I need something to lean on, he's my rod and my comfort. That's why I love him, James, the way I do. When everybody turns their back on me, when everybody talks about me, I love to hear. 
And prove me with here with said the Lord, if I would not open you the windows of heaven and bring them down a blessing. And he said, I will rebuke the divide, what the fire, sickness, disease, whatever's trying to do you harm. That's the Bible, that's not the pastor. You can find that in the book of Malachi, the third chapter. Well, you know, I don't think we ought to pay time. You pay your rent, don't you? You pay your mortgage, don't you? One of, one of you told that man you're not gonna pay your mortgage. We have every sale signing from the house. Tell him that. Tell the man that you got that call from that you're paying off. I don't think I'm gonna make a payment this month. You might get back one or two, but the repo man coming to with his with his, with his, with his tractor behind him to put it on, on, on the ranch. Everybody gets paid but God. Everybody gets paid but God. The repo man didn't wake you up this morning, but God did. The repo man didn't let you jump in the shower this morning, but God did. The banks didn't let you uh, uh, feed yourself, God did. He's the last one on the list that gets paid, but he's the one that's doing everything for you. He's the one that's doing everything for you. Your air is his air. Without his air, you cannot breathe. Your leg was lifted you by God. But he's always put on the back burner when it comes to money. God is always on the back burner when it comes to money. Who gave you the intelligence? God did. You don't believe it? Ask Adam. How he named, what did Adam know about a horse? He never seen a horse. God gave him the intellect to name all the animals. So what did he get the intellect from? God. Everything you got came from God. Right. Your eyes, your ears, your nose, your toes. But yet he is the last one that we appreciate. I'm having a hard time investing that. If somebody do something for you, you say thank you, don't you? You say I appreciate it. Why don't you thank God sometimes? Thank him. This, this ain't love. Thank you. I, I, I know what the problem is. You got a lot of hurt in your life, don't you? Tell, tell me somebody who don't. You ain't gonna want to lose a loved one. A mom, my dad, a brother, something. I lost them all. But it ain't got nothing to do with him. Or he could have stopped it. It was a choice. God not gonna stop every choice you made. He gave you the power to stop it. But you didn't stop it. Don't blame God when he's not guilty. Do you want to be accused of something that you didn't do? <laughs> Stop accusing God. He's too good to be accused. He does no harm. When I lost my mother at 17 years old, the devil said, that's what you get for serving God. See what you need? You can, if you came over here, you should have been living. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. He got me so I could handle this hurt. <laughs> He got me so I could have it. Then when I lost my father a few years later, then I lost my sister, then I lost my brother. Tony was not just my brother, Tony was my friend. So I know about hurt. I know about loss. I know about having no direction, who to turn to, or who to even trust. I know all about this. But one thing I knew, I could trust God. I could tell him what I can't tell nobody else. But yet, Sometimes God don't even get up things. Wake you up this morning, go back your day, don't even say thank you, Lord. Get in your car, go down the street, don't even pray. Man got down the street, had a wreck, but you didn't get in the wreck. No thanks to God. He's the last person that ever gets thanked. But he's the one doing everything for you. Why is that? Why is it that he's the last one to say, Lord, I'm But somebody do something for you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's God that allows them to do that good thing towards you. All good things come from above. That's what the scripture says. So whoever does something good for you, God spoke to that person to do that for you. But you thank the person who only is a channel. But you didn't thank the source who is God. So we're going to thank him this morning, though. We're going to thank him with these tithes and offerings. So get on, get, get on in your wallet. Yeah. Because you know you're old. He could take all of it. Let me share this testimony. I ain't going to work. But let me share this testimony. This is a true testimony. 
I was in the city with this pastor. This pastor. And the young man that was in that city, in that city, had got a cell phone. He got a cell phone. He was a member of the, at, at that church, and he's got a cell phone. He was a minister, though. I knew him. And I, uh, Elder Porter knows. We all know him. We all, he's a little younger than us, but we knew him. Anyhow, he got quite a bit of something, right? He didn't own the Lord enough for like $1,000. It might have been more, I don't know, something like that. But he got a lot of money. It's a nice ass money. Anyway, I was there when he brought the money to the pastor. Pastor, this is uh, what the Lord had blessed me with. But he was lying. He was lying. But he went and put all his money in the bank. <laughs> But there were some people that he owed. Well, they didn't just take some of the money, they took all of his money. They, they won't pay God. But he got, but the people that he owed, to, they didn't leave him nothing. All the thousands of dollars got taken. And, I, and, I, and I'm, saying, I'm saying to myself, this is all you have done, the double got told you. Pay your tithe, they're going to touch your money. You don't know the Bible. There's protection in the world. Yeah. Then he come back with his tail between his legs. Hey. And he's come to me, man. I didn't rob God. You did. Hey. I'm not giving you your mind. Hey. Hey. And get, my, get me cursed for having you. Yeah. This foolishness that you have done. <laughs> Stop robbing God. Church in Lexington, Elder and Sister Lewis went there. And when they got up to the restaurant, there was people out in, the, out in the parking lot trying to get into this restaurant. So when Sister Lewis got to the door, she asked the owner of the restaurant, how did you get so many people to eat and dine at your restaurant? He looked at her, and all he said was, I pay my taxes. Look how many blessings you didn't miss because you refused to pay your taxes. Refused to pay your taxes. You can always struggle. I don't struggle, not no more. I couldn't tell you last time I struggled because I'm a tired payer and I'm an orphan you. He's got to back me up. Can I get a witness in hey, hey, no, I hope he does. He might not. He's got to do it. I don't care how he does it, but he's got to do it. I don't care how he does it. I don't care who he is. But he will do it. All right. Where you at, D? Get him up. Congregation, please stand. Face the middle. Follow the rest of us in the back, please. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you so much for what you do. 